Good morning, and welcome to the Senior Hour, which is sponsored by Comfort Keepers in Home Care, Advanced Audiology, and Santa Clarita Hearing Center. I'm Barbara Cochran with my co-host, Dr. Jean Dorio. On your hometown station, 98.1 FM, AM 1220, KHTS. This is a show for, about, and by seniors, giving information to enhance one's quality of life. And our guest this morning is Dr. Jeannie Delos, owner of Santa Clarita Hearing Center, one of our sponsors now. Good morning, Dr. Velos, and welcome to the Senior Hour. Good morning. We're glad Thank you're you. joining well, us. Thank you. Good. Welcome back. Thank you. <laughs> yes, long time no see. Right. <laughs> it's good to be yeah, back. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've seen anyone. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's better than be saying long time no here. Right. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Sorry, sorry about that, everybody. <laughs> so, Barbara, Tell us I want to. I want to Tell us a little bit about yourself, Dr. Velos. Well, I'm Dr. Ginny Velos. I'm a doctor of audiology, and I'm the owner of Santa Clarita Hearing Center. Um, I've been an audiologist for about 20 years now and practicing in Santa Clarita for 15 out of those 20 years. Um, and I moved out here, actually, to practice audiology. So there you go. Mm -hmm. Wow, wow. So, so where did you come from? I grew up in Culver City. That's where I was born. Oh, oh my goodness. Yep. Daniel Freeman Hospital. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, what made you go into audiology, though, Jenny? What, I mean, you know, that's not an unusual, but you are, you know, you see patients and you're helping people. Mm -hmm. uh, did you have someone in your family that experience hearing problems like we all do um but there was there any motivation uh, at all that said hey i'm here at daniel freeman i'm just being born and i'll, <laughs> I'll live in Cul i'll live in culver city and but uh you know where's my future at and somebody said what'd you say <laughs> so what what was that what is what was that motivation jenny to to uh move, go into audiology you know, I originally went to school to become a psychologist, and I do have my bachelor's in psychology. And around that time, my dad ended up having some medical issues that affected his hearing. He had chemotherapy oh. that, um, mm -hmm. that made it difficult for him to hear and understand speech. And um, I was on the other side of it. I was living with somebody who couldn't hear, and I saw the frustration on his part and mm -hmm. on the part of my mom and my, my brother and I. And that's what sort of brought me into audiology. So being the doctor, I also have the experience of being on the other side and being the family member and the frustration that comes with it. Right. Yes. I remember when my husband started having hearing loss, and it was so frustrating because he would always say, what did you say? What right. did you say? Right. I didn't hear you. Yeah repeat that and I used to get so frustrated because right. I speak very clearly but he couldn't hear me you know mm -hmm. couldn't understand me and we finally decided okay we need to have that hearing checked <laughs> and sure enough he needed hearing aids and sometimes yeah. when you're the one that's not being understood it can be frustrating because it's almost like why aren't you listening to me why don't you care what I have to say when that's really not the problem at all no, you're absolutely right. Right. Absolutely right. Because Russ would say to me, why aren't you listening to me? You know? Exactly. <laughs> and then it's for hurt feelings on his part as well. Yeah. Yes. yes. Yeah. It, it was very, very frustrating. And finally, when he got them, oh, things were so much better. And I can remember him saying, wait a minute, that's too loud. <laughs> you're shouting. Exactly. <laughs> I've been told I've saved a lot of marriages over the last 20 years. <laughs> I can well imagine. <laughs> you know, but it crosses all age groups, doesn't it, Jenny? I mean, it's not, you know, we think that as we get older that uh, mostly seniors will have uh, hearing uh, deficits, but uh, it is across all boards. I mean, you can be pretty young and still start experiencing um, problems with uh, hearing, and everybody should be aware of that. Absolutely. I've had my youngest patient I found with hearing loss 
was um, I've we fit a two year old, but I've tested down to one week old, and wow. my oldest was 107, and she couldn't hear well, so she got herself some hearing aids and used them for another year. Wow. Well, I know. Who, oh, I know. I know who that was. <laughs> <laughs> the age gave it away. <laughs> But, you know, that's so interesting because, you know, uh, at least when I was growing up, you know, going to concerts uh, and then we started to have earphones yes. uh, and then, you know, driving around being cool in a car, you know, uh, with the music pounding away, you hear that all the time, even now. Yes. Uh, so sometimes deficits uh, with some of my friends, as you know, you know, they were in wartime and they came back uh, uh, from war uh, with uh, significant deficits. Deficits, uh, and others, uh, the loud music uh, played a role also. So they developed uh, hearing uh, problems in their 40s and 50s as opposed to uh, later in life. Right. And also some medications can cause hearing loss that we Absolutely. know as well, like my, like my dad who had chemotherapy that affected his hearing and his speech understanding. Mm -hmm. Yeah, antibiotics uh, play a significant role, and uh, you know we we have uh, individuals who, you know, have chronic uh, infections like uh, urinary tract infections, and uh, some of those antibiotics have a tendency to to affect hearing, and sometimes it's. Uh, it, the deficit does not uh, improve once you remove the antibiotic. Right. Uh, so it's really uh, a, a terrible thing, and uh, most people don't know about the side effects. And then they end up uh, maybe a few months later going, what, what? And family go, and you know they can't attribute it to anything, but you know they have to get get evaluated. Right. So what are the signs sometimes, Jenny? That you know, for older or younger, what are the signs? You know, we know that, huh? What? Uh, but what are the other symptoms that uh, one might have that uh, caregivers, family members can be looking for uh, that might help? Uh, reveal and have them uh, go to you for a uh, hearing test. I mean, absolutely. The what what was that? I didn't get that. But it can also be the opposite of just not responding. I'm talking to you, and the person's not responding, or um, is seems disinterested or isolating. Um, all those can can be a sign. Somebody complaining of a ringing in their ears. Um, <laughs> that all ties into it. And you know, I the best one is, of course, when doing my house calls, you know, if I walk up to somebody's residence and I'm at their front door and I can hear their television, of course. you know, which is like on the other side of the house, uh, but I'm able to hear their television. And I know right away mm -hmm. that I might be dealing with somebody who either their batteries have gone dead on their hearing aids, they've lost them, or they do, they're not even aware that they have a deficit. Right. Telephone also. People with hearing oh. loss have a very difficult time on the telephone. And isn't it a little scary to know that there could be some individuals who might be driving and that cannot be alerted by uh, a first responder, or the ambulance, or the police car, fire fire truck uh, that's barreling down on them mm -hmm. with their siren on? Uh, but you know, and then, then all of a sudden they look in their rearview mirror and they see these lights flashing, mm -hmm. but they don't realize and cannot hear the siren. I mean, it's pretty scary. It is. You know, deaf people drive people who don't hear anything at all they they drive but they're also in tune to using their visual cues you know those they're very they're very um, in tune to that somebody who has hearing loss that doesn't know it doesn't realize they need to be looking around for those sirens they need to be looking at oncoming traffic they need to be paying attention to things they they may not know yeah, I can bet you there are some people in Santa Clarita who uh, found out and realized that they had a hearing deficit or a family member noticed that they didn't hear a siren. That's right. pretty scary. It is but, really scary. So, But it should prompt people to, to get a hearing test done. So when, Jenny, when people you know, a family member or a patient says, hey, hey, I need to get a hearing test. What is that? What is that involved? And when, you know, you, you, you know, they, a lot of people don't understand uh, the whole um, 
uh, uh, process that they have to go through. I mean, of course, you make an appointment and you get things set up, but once they sign the paperwork and get in there, uh, what 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 do you do in terms of doing a hearing test? Well, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look in the ears and I'm going to rule out wax being a problem. And if I see wax, I'm going to remove it before I do any type of hearing test. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to put some headphones in the ears, and you're going to listen for different beeps of different mm -hmm. loudness levels. Some will be, you know, more audible. Some will be very, very, very soft. And you're just going to push a button or raise a hand and let me know mm -hmm. when you hear it. And um, you're in a hearing hearing, self-contained hearing, like a box or a room? We or are in a sound-treated room, correct. Sound-treated, that's very good. Yes, yeah. yes. So um, I'm going to have you repeat some words for me, too, so I can get an idea of um, whether or not y it's not necessarily the volume, but now that the volume's loud enough, is your brain understanding the words that are being said? Yeah. And that's about yeah. it. And people tell me, wow, that was painless, and it really is. Mm -hmm. How long does it usually take to get a, a hearing test done? Um, I mean, in terms of time, like five minutes, 20 minutes? Maybe 15. 15 minutes? Sure. And you know, that there's also, when you do a hearing test, don't you, what, what's right, document uh, the, uh, uh, the hearing ability at that time. So you always have a baseline as to where that person started. And of course, some of that could be normal, and you want to have somebody with a normal hearing test, yes. but other times it's you can see where their deficits are. Correct, and that's why we encourage people. Even you know, at 50, you should really be having your hearing tested. And the reason for that, you may not be having any difficulty, and you may have a perfectly normal hearing test, which I hope you do. Um, however, it will be something we can look back at in the future to see right. that once you were normal here, and now it's come down, and there's the reason why you're struggling on the phone and your spouse is complaining that the TV is too loud. Yeah. And if you have kids, if our listeners have kids who are young mm -hmm. playing loud music, um, you know, after a while it could impact and if you're noticing them, you know, giving you cues or symptoms that might reveal that they're there might be a hearing deficit. It's time then to say, hey, we better get a hearing test on you and at least get a baseline because let's say they're in, you know, junior high or high school and, you know, they've been impacted by a lot of uh, music and things like that. You know, it could then affect them in school where mm -hmm. they're not hearing the teacher, like you said, uh, they're not picking up the cues. Uh, mm -hmm. And, you know, it could then, uh, they could fail or they could not achieve what they could have achieved uh, if they could hear better so it's always wise for us to be on the lookout uh, and I watch all the time and listen for loud TVs but you know I also want to make sure that uh, people understand that young people can be affected also and they are being affected we're seeing that more and more younger and younger people are coming in with hearing loss I think a lot of that has to do with the loud music they listen to. You know, it's the loud music, but it's also the amount of time that the music is being listened to. Yes. Mm -hmm. Both together. Um, so my rule to parents is if you call their name and they go, oh, um, let me take my headphone out. Yeah, mom, what did you need? Then it's probably okay. But if you call their name and they're not responding, it's too loud. It's too loud. Yeah. And just a side note, headphones, they have parental guides on them that limit how loud they'll get. You just have to go into the software and set it. All right. There are some people, Jenny, that have, uh, they have jobs that uh, are loud in working condition. Mm -hmm. So they have to be mindful too to get hearing exempt. And some employers will get hearing tests, but others might not. So just be aware of that. Correct. And and if they're if they're having testing every year, their employers should also provide adequate um, hearing protection. Yeah, that's that's very true. Mm -hmm. And doctor, we need to take a small break. We will be back in a few moments. And I'm Barbara Cochran with my co-host, Dr. Jean Dorio, on your hometown station, 98.1 FM, AM 1220, KHTS. 
Hey, Dutton Plumbing, it's Eric. Son, it's Mother. We need to talk about me running for president. People are telling me I should run, like Ernesto. Uh, he said, who better to clean up all the crap in Washington than me, a plumber's mother? Wait, hold it. Who's Ernesto? And Erica, the girl downstairs, said Dutton Plumbing's drain clearing saved her money and protected her from a scary situation. Now, isn't that exactly what people want in a president? I think she could help me with that Milano vote. I, I, I think you mean millennials, Mom, not Milano. I was thinking about cookies. I'm hungry. Well, if you're serious about running for president, Mom, maybe Dutton Plumbing can help sponsor you? I need a couple of hundred grand for a facelift, a boob lift. <sighs> Sorry, Mom, you're breaking up. <laughs> DuttonPlumbing.com Get Dutton Plumbing's 73-buck drain clearing. It flows or it's free with a money-back guarantee. Details at DuttonPlumbing.com Loss of hearing can affect the quality of life. Santa Clarita Hearing Center can help. They specialize in both preventative hearing loss and corrective measures, including diagnostic tests, new technology hearing aids, cochlear implants, hearing protection, and tinnitus treatment. They can adjust your current hearing aids or fit you for new ones. Santa Clarita Hearing Center also offers sleep molds, swim molds, and musician monitors. Book an appointment today. Log on to SantaClaritaHearingCenter.com. Located on McBean Parkway next to the hospital. That's SantaClaritaHearingCenter.com. I'm Christina Debray, licensed marriage and family therapist, your Santa Clarita Valley trauma and grief specialist. The coronavirus and the new stay at home orders have changed our lives significantly. On behalf of KHTS 98.1 FM, AM 1220, hometownstation.com, here's a tip to help your children develop emotional self awareness by teaching them to label their emotions. Ask them what the emotion feels like and where they feel it in their body. For example, it seems like you're feeling some anxiety right now. What's that like? Where do you feel it in your body? It's important to do this during all different kinds of emotional experiences, including happiness, calm, anger, and sadness. Stay safe, stay home, and let's flatten the curve. I'm Christina Debray, licensed marriage and family therapist, your Santa Clarita Valley trauma and grief specialist. The best live theater can be found right here in the Santa Clarita Valley. The Canyon Theater Guild has been entertaining audiences for decades with top quality musicals and plays. Located on Main Street in Old Town Newhall, CTG also offers workshops for the young actor in your family. For more information, call the box office at 799-2702 or go online to canyontheater.org. Today for lunch, why not try The Sandwich Shop, located on Avenue Stamford, right off Rye Canyon. The Sandwich Shop offers dozens of hot or cold, affordable, premium deli sandwiches. Gourmet soups and salads are also available. Regulars indulge in the cheesy focaccia rolls, which is a customer favorite. Then top it off with owner Charlie Chung's chunky chocolate chip cookies. Breakfast and catering is also available. The Sandwich Shop, since 1983. Located on Avenue Sanford, right off Rye Canyon. ValenciaSandwichShop.com to place your order. At Advanced Audiology, we know how important hearing is to you, your loved ones, your work success, your safety, and your ability to stay in the game. Most people won't admit hearing loss to themselves or others. We make it easy for you. Today's digital hearing aids come in a variety of styles, including invisible. All feature-rich, providing unparalleled hearing quality, wearing comfort, and automation that simplifies your life. Don't be fooled by our imitators. There's only one advanced audiology with the purple sign next to AAA on Valencia Boulevard. Your, your hometown station. Will you still need me? Will you still feed me? When I'm 64. Welcome back to the Senior Hour. I'm Barbara Cochran with my co-host, Dr. Jean Dorio, on your hometown station, 98.1 FM, AM 1220, KHTS. And we're speaking with Dr. Ginny Billows of Santa Clarita Hearing Center. And a couple of things, uh, doctor. Um, the current events are impacting our lives, all of us. Mm -hmm. With quarantining and not socializing with one another. What impact does that have on someone's hearing loss? And also, following on that, when we have to wear these masks going outside, mm -hmm. how does that affect one's ability to hear? 
Uh, so you got two questions. <laughs> well, <laughs> with respect to staying home and quarantining, we find ourselves isolating. We're not getting the socialization that we used to. Um, especially people over a certain age are being encouraged to stay home, quarantine, don't go out. Um, yeah, tell me about it. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, and when we start to isolate ourselves and we stop doing the things that we enjoy doing, it very often leads to depression, isolation, feelings. Um, and it just sort of, you know, tumbles down from there and we start to get, you know, we see more medications being given for depression. Um, we start seeing any physical ailment that you might have getting worse, like high blood pressure or anything like that. So. Um, it can definitely, definitely affect what's, you know, what's going on. And, you know, when we're not socializing and talking to people, we're sort of letting our brain forget what speech is and communication is. So we really, really don't like to see that happen. Now, some people, you know, they don't uh, realize they're reading lips. Yes. And that's, uh, you know, they now that we have math, some of the people are having uh, clear uh, problems, so-called hearing, when uh, in the past as well, they have been uh, reading lips yes. uh, to, to get by. That's one of their cues. Uh, so uh, uh, this is kind of opening up and revealing something that has been kind of deep down and hidden from individuals and even family members that they don't know nor are aware that um, their loved one uh, may have had a deficit and not even known it. Well, actually, lip reading is something we all do. You know, when I get into a situation that's very, very noisy and I have a very hard time hearing, my brain mm -hmm. subconsciously does it for me. Um, yeah. Very so, good. where you know, having a hearing loss, we rely on it a little bit more. And when we cover our face, not only do we dampen the sound of our voice somewhat, but we're taking away not only the lip reading cues, but the face reading cues as well. So mm -hmm. I have a mask here for people who are watching on Facebook Live, and I'm going to show what it looks like. You guys can't see it, of course. But it actually goes over my face, and it has a clear vinyl over my lips. So oh. you're still able to see my face. You're still mm -hmm. able to see my lips. And I get stopped all the time. Oh, I can see <laughs> you smile. Oh, I can That's see cool. what you're saying. Yeah. So these I have in my office. If anybody's um, interested in purchasing one, um, we have them in the office. Um, people are always asking me where they can get one. So it really, really helps a lot. Um, that, that is a great idea. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, we talk about lip reading, and I mentioned the speech, the face cues. You know, when we, when we ask a question, our eyebrows go up. You know, there's things happening in our face we're not even thinking of, and that helps people understand what we're saying. And when we're wearing a mask, it really covers up a lot. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's interesting. My daughter and my granddaughter are both interpreters for the deaf. Really? And they uh, they live in Palmdale, and they both work for the school district. Mm -hmm. And they have both said it's been very interesting having to go online to be a an interpreter and go into the classrooms yes. when everybody is online. They both said it has really been a challenge. I could imagine. I read a really interesting article, Barbara, in the LA Times the other day about sign language and um, the interpreters that are working for the mayor, I believe. Yes. Uh -huh. And that they use different signs depending on the group they're talking to. So, yeah. for example, the African American um, interpreters will use a different sign for a, describing a black person that they would to a black group, to a white group. And I didn't know Ooh. that. I didn't know that. I thought that was really interesting. It's almost like having an accent, you know, depending on who uh -huh. you're talking to. You're gonna, it's gonna look a little different depending on who you're talking to and who's doing the interpreting. Mm -hmm. That's right, that's very interesting. Well, you know, it was interesting when my daughter was growing up she lived in the San Fernando Valley with a couple of her girlfriends. Mm -hmm. And in the group they ran around with,
there was a deaf guy who could only he could only associate with the group of friends because his parents didn't even weren't even able to communicate with him all they did was write things down and that just absolutely amazed me and she said mom she said that's never going to happen to my family i'm going into the interpreting business and she loved it yeah. because yeah. she was able to communicate with him and she was just astounded that his parents hadn't taken sign language and learned how to do it and communicate with him and she felt so good about it and that was her calling that's and she's done amazing. it for years, uh, over 30 years now. Yeah. yeah. Over That's 30. admirable. That, that breaks my so heart, admirable. yeah, that people would do that. Oh, it was just, yeah. she, it broke her heart because she just loved this guy. He, she said he was such a sweet mm -hmm. guy, and she was determined, I'm going to communicate with him one way or the other, and she mm -hmm. did. Good for her. Yeah. Good she for did, her. and, of course, my granddaughter kind of picked it up. You know, cool. in this household, she decided that's what she's going to do. Right. So they're both doing it, and good. they love it. Good, Definitely good. Love it. I'm glad to hear it. Glad to hear it. So it's, let's uh, let's let's talk about hearing aids. Uh -huh. um, you know the the different types of hearing aids. Uh, you know, I'm kind of very interested in you know how technology um is utilized now um uh, with using your uh cell phone mm -hmm. uh and being able to be on the computer uh hook up your television and things like that and even have it in your car um uh you know i'm just uh, you know i if you can just kind of go over all the you know modern uh technology that has gone into hearing aids now and uh you know some of the clear-cut advantages that we can now have uh, by using hearing aids. Well, the great thing about the new technology hearing aids is they do have all of these really great features on them that are available, um, but we don't have to use them. So I don't yeah. want people to get afraid of the things I'm going to talk about. Um, <clears throat> but we do have Bluetooth in the, uh, the hearing aids. The hearing aids will go direct to phone, um, mm -hmm. which means that a phone call comes in, you answer the call, and you're talking into the phone. However, you're hearing the voice right into your ears, and the voice is amplified appropriately for you. So the sound quality is very, very good, and it helps understand what people are saying when you're having some difficulty hearing on the phone. That is oh. amazing. Yeah. Um, the hearing aids, you can, whatever you can stream through the hearing aid will go, to, uh, whatever you can stream through the phone will go to the hearing aid. So if you want to listen to music, if you want to watch a movie on your iPad, if you want to play a game, all the sounds that you would hear through that device will come directly into your ears. So really, really amazing technology. Um, there's a little clip that's available, a little remote microphone that can be given to your spouse or a teacher that they would clip on them and their voice goes directly into your ears. So this has changed the game for kids at school. You know, we're, not, we're no longer putting a big speaker next to them and calling them out and making them stand out in front of their, mm -hmm. their peers. Um, it's very discreet. It's very easy to use for the teachers. And it's really, really a wonderful change in our, in our field. Um, and then TV, there's a box that you can turn on, uh, hook up to your television, very easy to do and it makes your TV Bluetooth. So the sound will go Bluetooth from the television to your hearing aids. And again, they're amplified appropriately. So you adjust the volume of the television on your hearing aid, your spouse or whoever you're watching gets to keep the remote for themselves. <laughs> I mm -hmm. Put it where they like it. <laughs> so um, lots, of, lots of really cool changes, lots of things to help you. But again, um, the hearing aids typically come standard with these, these abilities. Some people use them, love them, some people don't want them and that's okay mm -hmm. that's okay people are always asking me dr velos what is the best hearing aid tell me what's the best hearing aid? what's the secret and really the secret is the best hearing aid is the one that you'll wear 
It's that simple. Yeah. yeah. So that just going back, going back, Jenny, just mm -hmm. a little bit, uh, you know, our, most of our listeners are older adults. Mm -hmm. And, you know, when we say Bluetooth, um, some, sometimes they don't understand that Bluetooth is wireless. It's wireless. That's pretty, pretty, it's a wireless technology uh, that, you know, we can transfer back and forth from, from one thing to another. Yes. Uh, and so uh, just so people understand that uh, Bluetooth is this wireless, you know, uh, we worry about our, our seniors falling and um, sometimes they fall because they trip over a cord and that cord might be hooked up to their telephone, their ground line, mm -hmm. uh, or their, to their TV, uh, but it's kind of in the way. Uh, but now we don't have to have those cords anymore. We're cordless. Correct. Wireless. Yay. And so that's what, that's what Bluetooth uh, does in this technology and eliminates the wires now. So uh, like cell phones, when there's no wires, mm -hmm. you know, it's all through the cells. Uh, so Bluetooth is being able to coordinate uh, one uh, one instrument to another instrument, but not have the actual physical connection. It's uh, it's without the wires, and it's much safer for our um, uh, older adults in their homes. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, sure. One other thing, I heard you say something about the telephone, and I don't. I just want to make sure the listeners are aware that if they're struggling on the telephone, there are amplified phones that are available free of charge um, from the state that allow you to um, hear a louder voice than a typical phone will go. And it also allows you to see the printed words. So when somebody talks, it prints out on a screen, and that mm -hmm. can be saved. So if you didn't quite catch that phone number, um, you can save that conversation or that message, and the phone number is printed out for you on the screen. You know, we, we have now, unfortunately, it's situations that we talked about where um, with the pandemic that sometimes family members can't uh, see their loved ones um, at their facilities where they might be in, in a nursing home, assisted living, uh, or wherever, or in a hospital setting. Uh, but many of my uh, patients and families are utilizing um, the uh, cell phones and mm -hmm. FaceTime mm -hmm. to be able to do that. But uh, sometimes they have the hearing deficits. Mm -hmm. And to be able to have a printout of it uh, makes a huge difference. Mm -hmm. And so uh, people were starting to extend ourselves out there to learn how to su sustain and maintain communication uh, to our loved ones uh, when they're in a acute care setting like a hospital, uh, but yet still, you know, have contact uh, with, the with the doctors and nurses and everybody else, but especially being able to, by phone, hold the hands of your loved ones when they're ill. Yeah, when 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 this pandemic started, we were we were in the middle of it, and um, a patient's um, daughter called me and said that her mom, who lives in a local assisted living facility, that her hearing aids weren't working, and that was their only way to communicate, and mm -hmm. she was terribly upset. So we talked to the um, assisted living um, home and. They allowed me to go in as, as the provider, and I was able to clean some wax out of the ears and clean the hearing aids and fix what needed fixing. And while I was there, I called her daughter, because I use an iPhone and she uses an iPhone, and we were able to FaceTime. Mm -hmm. And it was really special, because it was the first time she had seen her mom in about two months. Oh, my goodness. So it was a really special moment. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. But we're oh. still, we're, that, that's the heartwarming, and you know there has been this um, huge loss because um, I, I go to the assisted livings, I go to the nursing homes, I go to the boarding cares, mm -hmm. and I am uh, able to see most of my patients. But there are some that won't even allow doctors to come in. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, if that's their policy, that's their policy. I'm fine with that. But the residents 
um, sense it, feel it, know it, and yes. it, it does hurt them. Yes. And so we are in a time right now um, that we're going to look back and, and say, yes, the technology made a difference, but there were still uh, certain times where we just did not have enough um, technology to um, help the, the sensitivity, the loss that some of our uh, loved ones and my patients are experiencing mm -hmm. now because of this pandemic. And that's the isolation we were talking about earlier. Yes. yes. Exactly. It is. And doctor, we need to take another break. And we'll be back in a few minutes. I'm Barbara Cochran with my co-host, Dr. Jean Dorio, on your hometown station, 98.1 FM, AM 1220, KHTS. We all know sometimes people lose their way. If you or someone you know is struggling with addiction, the Way Out Recovery SEV may have the answers you've been waiting for. The Way Out is the premier intensive outpatient treatment center serving Santa Clarita. Asking for help is the first step. Call The Way Out today, 661-296-4444. That's 296-4444 for a private free assessment. The Way Out is an accredited affordable outpatient program that accepts most insurance. Call us at 661-296-4444 or check us out online at thewayoutrecoveryscv.com. Quit battling with yourself. Ask The Way Out for help today. Loss of hearing can affect the quality of life. Santa Clarita Hearing Center can help. They specialize in both preventative hearing loss and corrective measures, including diagnostic tests, new technology hearing aids, cochlear implants, hearing protection, and tinnitus treatment. They can adjust your current hearing aids or fit you for new ones. Santa Clarita Hearing Center also offers sleep molds, swim molds, and musician monitors. Book an appointment today. Log on to SantaClaritaHearingCenter.com. Located on McBean Parkway next to the hospital. That's SantaClaritaHearingCenter.com. This is Suzette Martinez Valadares. Many child care centers are closed due to the COVID-19 pandemic. The child care providers that are open are serving our essential workforce and finding it very difficult to find or purchase the supplies needed to keep their facilities clean and children healthy. Our health care professionals are fighting to save lives. First responders and law enforcement are bravely serving our community. And our grocery store clerks are keeping our local markets stocked. This is our chance to help them. This is why we are launching Operation Child Care. Our mission is to collect donations for local early childhood education providers serving our frontline essential workforce. Donations needed include hand sanitizer, disinfectant wipes, disinfectant spray, disposable gloves, and masks. These donations can be dropped off at KHTS Radio located at 24320 Main Street in Newhall from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Monday through Friday. Dutton Plumbing, it's Eric. Son, it's Mother. Hi, Mom. I wanted you to know that Eunice, my neighbor, the one with the limp and the slight mustache, she said a lot of her friends have been clipping your drain-clearing special coupon out of the paper, especially the ladies in her Wednesday night bingo club. The Wednesday night bingo club? Yep, they all go out for Mexican food every Wednesday night, and at about 2 a.m., <laughs> Bingo. Well, I think all they need is Mom's famous $73 drain clearing. You know, it flows or it's free with a money-back guarantee. In fact, they can schedule service right off our website at duttonplumbing.com and use our free live chat. So they can use the interwebs to find you? Just like that funny dating site Eunice showed me last week. Yikes. Duttonplumbing.com Order Mom's $73 drain clearing. It flows or it's free with a money-back guarantee. Get service and find discount service coupons 24-7 at DuttonPlumbing.com. You worry because your mom and dad aren't as active and are finding it more challenging to live on their own. The answer? Premier Assisted Living Community, Oakmont of Santa Clarita, now leasing. Located on Newhall Ranch Road, Oakmont of Santa Clarita, bringing comfort and luxury to assisted living. Your parents can enjoy five-star amenities and panoramic views in a world-class community. No other assisted living community has this kind of luxury and amenities in our valley. Visit oakmontofsantaclarita.com. It's like no other station I've ever listened to. It's great. Your, your hometown station. Will you still need me? Will you still feed me? When I'm 64. 
Welcome back to the Senior Hour. I'm Dr. Gene Dorio with my co-host, Barbara Cochran, on your hometown station, AM 1220 and 98.1 FM, KHTS. We're talking with Dr. Jenny Velos from the Santa Clarita Hearing Center. And, you know, Jenny, you know, we've talked about um, problems related to hearing, the 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 um, different ages that people might be when they uh, develop hearing problems, uh, and it crosses all ages, uh, as we've talked about. But there are other causes of, of hearing loss that uh, the wax we talked about, chemotherapy, uh, antibiotics, and things like that. But there are a few other things that I think are important uh, medically that you might want to go over and uh, talk about just to make uh, our listeners uh, aware and educate them on uh, those other causes. Uh, yes, thank you. Um, there are some some different medical, physical things that can cause hearing loss. Um, one of them is called an acoustic neuroma, which is a very, very small growth that occurs um, in the area in within the brain. And... Um, it's a it's a benign growth. It's really not a cancerous type of thing, but it does grow, and it grows, and it grows very slowly, but it grows. And we only have so much room in there. So as it grows bigger and bigger, it starts to push on things like the auditory nerve, like the vestibular balance nerve, and it starts causing problems. And that's something we're always looking for when we're doing the hearing testing. Um, another one is otosclerosis, which can be, uh, there's three, the, the, t the smallest bones in the entire body are in the ear, and they move mm -hmm. independently. They, they work like a lever, like kind of like the hip, the knee, and the ankle, and they work and they move together. And sometimes the joint between those can have bone grow over them. And so now it's almost like walking with a limp if you're not able to bend your knee you're walking with a limp. And yep. and so when this happens in the ear, you're essentially hearing with a limp. Um, yeah. Again, this is something that we're trained on to, um, as a hearing doctor, to um, see in the hearing test. Um, this is this is treatable. They, they do this, it's very, very common. They do it, uh, they do a little surgery, they go in, they remove one of those little bones, put a little prosthetic in, and boom, people hear. It's amazing. Cool. It's amazing. Yep. Technology. Um, right? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, a glomus jugularis, which my, again, my poor dad, he had that as well, which is a tumor mm -hmm. that grows, a benign tumor that grows on the, um, the um, artery, the jugular wow. vein, the jugular yep. vein, um, oh. that causes hearing loss. So there are, uh, there's, there's several different types of medical problems that can cause hearing loss. And that's the importance of seeing a hearing doctor, somebody who's trained that I'm going to be testing your hearing, not just to sell you a hearing aid. That's not my, that's not my purpose. My first purpose is to check you medically to see if there's something that is treatable or something that needs to be looked at by an ear, nose, and throat doctor instead of just putting a Band-Aid of a hearing aid. We don't want to do that. We want to treat what can be treated. And if there's nothing that can be treated, it's just a nerve damage hearing loss that's due to wear and tear, which happens to all of us, then we're going to put the hearing aid on. Yep, yep. Uh, very, very good. You know, Jenny, people are wondering where, where are you located? What, you, what is your contact information? Sure. Uh, so the office is Santa Clarita Hearing Center, and we're located on the hospital, Henry Mayo Hospital premises. The address is 23861 McBean Parkway, and we're located in Building D as in David and suite number 14. And you can also call the office at 661-388-4135. Or if you'd like to email me directly, my email is drveloz, D-R-V-E-L-O-Z, at santaclaritahearingcenter.com. Great. So phone number once again is 661-388-4135, and it's at 23861 McBean Parkway. 
uh, Building D, Suite Number 14. And for those, when you look at the hospital and you're entering the, the main entrance, it's the buildings, the hospital is kind of in front of you to the right with the new tower. Uh, but to the left, there are uh, buildings. There's a building F out front, which is two stories, uh, but and building E is two stories. But on the left, there's building D. That's where you are. Correct. Right. So easy access, parking available. Uh, uh, you know, it's a, a, a important moment and time, uh, Jenny, for our listeners to know that hearing can create deficits. Hearing can cause problems in life. Yes. Hearing can affect one's quality of life. And if, the, if one's not aware of that, um, problems can develop and evolve to where a patients uh, then have sequential problems that affect how they live and how they survive. So for those who are listening, uh, for those who are uh, caregivers and family members, um, call uh, uh, Dr. Jenny Velos at uh, 388-4135, and obviously from our uh, the information here, uh, she is knowledgeable in uh, what she is doing and uh, will give you uh, just great care. So, um, Jenny, thank you for being on the show today. Thank Welcome you so back. much. Thank you. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. much. Nice to be here. Thank you. Uh, we are sponsored by Comfort Keepers in Home Care, Advanced Audiology, and Santa Cruz Hearing Center. Listen to what's